If you're wondering what the fuck I'm doing, it's pretty simple. Pretty dimples. Anyways, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's called anxiety. Do you understand? I just had anxiety right now to get on stream, even though that was acting, okay? But before this, actually, the funny part is I was like, hmm, do I want to come on stream today? And it's not even a stream. It's just a fucking vlog. I was like, do I want to vlog? Um, and I was making a million excuses, having anxiety, like, should I do it? Should I not do it? So I was actually experiencing anxiety today. I experience anxiety every single day at some point in time. Let me tell you exactly how I experience it. No. How about I don't tell you and I tell you my intro. Criminal Juice for the Blind. That's why I'm saying it out loud. Criminal Juice for the Blind. For the depth. That's why I'm giving you sign language. You can see my beautiful. Straight up singing as well. And for those that actually have eyeballs that work with us, including glasses, bifocals, or monocles, you got damn light birds. You can look into my crotch area. Go through my pubic hair forest. Keep searching, keep searching. There, you follow my name. Well, that's not right down the bottom. Can you read that? No, it's okay. It's pretty simple. I got you to read. All you got to do is ask. Anyways, today the vlog or whatever you want to call it is uh, nice. Uh, it's about anxiety. Everybody suffers from it. If you say you don't, well, can you tell me your secret? And it is what it is. If you don't suffer from anxiety, you probably suffer from something else because everybody suffers from something. I suffer from something called. Beautiful beard, beautiful face, amazing gamer, amazing singer, amazing guitar player, amazing armpit hair disease. Uh, but anyways, um, I could have kept going on forever, but then the video would have been probably like an hour long about the, all the amazing things I have, even amazing feet that I have. Let me look at them for five seconds. Okay, anyways... Um, Yes, and by the way, you're like, wait a minute, didn't you say you were going to start recording on your phone because the quality is scuffed and it's shitty? Guess what? I love it. I actually love how shitty it is. You want to know why? Because I can scare you like this. You see that? You see that horrible, disgusting cut that just happened? Like, it just over the top peaked the sound? That's what I like about it. The fact that it has a peaking sound. And it sounds complete, like complete garbage. That's why I like recording on this. Even though there will be times that I record on my phone, obviously. Um, and I know you're asking me as well, why? where's that pink shirt at? Shut up. Listen, when I stream is most of the time when I wear that shirt, okay? I'm going to wear different shirts. Probably this hat. No, I'm going to probably wear different hats too. But hey, doesn't matter. I wanted to wear this shirt, okay? And don't, don't look at the, hey, what the hell, I don't even have my, oh my god, what, what is wrong with me, how unprofessional of me. Okay, now I can finally stream like a normal person. Okay, I don't know why I keep calling this streaming, I'm so used to streaming, this is not streaming, this is literally just being recorded. Anyways, when it comes to anxiety, I can help you. Yeah, me, me, I can help you, not him can't even speak first of all not that person across the street because most people don't even want to try and help you i don't know why people don't like to help especially i would know this in the new york city people are fucking awful but you can tell a lot of people are anxious all you got to do is sit on the nyc subway train look around and you'll see people like this <laughs> like it's just that's just a regular day on uh, in new york city to be completely honest and the, pers and the funny part is they're like, that was a really good impression of someone on, a, on an NYC subway train. And I'm like, that's actually me. I was just giving you an impersonation of me. I mean, there's other people that do that as well. But the point is, here's the problem with anxiety. And I'll tell you about how I suffer from it. First of all, a lot of times I'll just be here. I'll be like, ooh, I'm watching. I'm going to watch TV because I'm cool and stuff. And then I'm like watching TV and then I'll have a whole bunch of anxiety. And I'm like, why the fuck do I feel this bad? It gets to a point where I literally do this. If you don't know what I'm doing, it's me putting my head on the fucking, just on the desk. It, that, that's literally where it comes to. It gets to a point, I'm like this. I'm this close to the TV and I'm just watching it. I'm like, wow, this is cool. And then out of nowhere, I'll just go like this, put my head down. And then just stay like that for a while. Just stick it to myself. Why the fuck do I feel so bad and so anxious and shit like that? 
But obviously the answer is because I'm not doing anything. Whatever I'm watching is not stimulating. I'm just watching it to pass the time. I'm just, wa I'm just watching it, but I'm not really enjoying myself. Uh, I'm just there burping like I just did right now, not enjoying myself. And in my head, I'm like, there's so many other things I could be doing to make myself feel better and instantly do it. But that's easier said than done. Because when you get used to trying to escape from reality, which everyone loves to do, and there's nothing wrong with escaping from reality, but it becomes a problem if all you ever want to do is escape from reality. That's a really big fucking problem. I wish I had a really big problem in my pants with a bigger penis, but unfortunately it's two inches. I don't know why. I'll save that for another vlog. Anyways, uh, yes, I have a few ideas for other vlogs and stuff like that, but as for the anxiety, basically the easiest thing you can do, the funniest part is the easiest savior is literally, I, I could just go like this and just start playing. Okay, I literally play guitar and I feel a hundred times better. Even making your bed, doing the most simplest things in the world. I know in your head you're going, what about you clean your fucking room, you disgusting bed? Shut the hell up. First of all, my room is not, it doesn't look bad at all. Shut up. What the fuck? Look at how, look at the umbrella. That's, that's, that's water right there. Uh, the, the, I'm not going to say what that is. That's the alien from the movie Aliens right there. And what's wrong with that? Just because you see pants right here doesn't mean my room is dirty. Guess what? It's on top of a box. So technically, now if the pants were on the floor, you could talk all the crap you want. You understand me? But that's not the case right here. The case is having anxiety. And if you're experiencing it right now, these are the easiest ways to get better. You got to get a motherfucking hobby or do something that gives you passion. I know everybody out there has a fucking talent, okay? There has to be something you enjoy, whether it's singing, whether it's eating someone's ass for a quarter, which is what I do to make money on the side. It doesn't matter what it is. Even if you wanna lick a wall, even though I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that though, but the, because the wall could be dirty and it could have germs. What if it has a disease on the wall? You can't experience that. Your immune system is not good enough to handle that. I can handle germs all day. I could put my whole face into a toilet bowl and sit there for five minutes just <sighs> drinking all the toilet bowl and I'll still have and I'll still be strong and healthy. I don't know what that is. I'm just a dirty guy, I guess. But uh, all you got to do is get a hobby, whatever it is. If you don't listen, there are I've actually met people in life. Where they're like, I don't like anything. I don't know what my passion is. I don't know what I want to do. I'm like, well, find out. There's nothing wrong with that. Even if you're 50 years old and you still haven't ticked it, taken the time. That just means all you've ever done is probably work your whole life. Or you just did bullshit. Like just, I don't know. what. Watch, watch uh, Love and Hip Hop. I don't know what dumb shit you do. But you need to do something. Even if it's, even if it's like... Like this, even if that it be the best person that goes, I don't know what competition there is for that, but whatever that is, that's Kate Kona shit. I don't know what that is. That's obviously Redneck having sex with your mom, and then you have a son slash brother when the when you when you know when she gets pregnant, whatever. Um, just get a hobby, please. Number one. Get a fucking hobby. Do something instead of doing those things that make you... If all you do is go to social media and you're always on your phone all day, like, like, and then you're watching something, you're like this, oh, I'm going to play a game. And then you're like this, playing a video game and fucking looking at your phone at the same exact time. Your brain is going to go completely insane. That's what's causing you to have so much anxiety. You don't know what to do. Also, you could try going outside for a walk. What? Outside? <laughs> I'll never go outside. What are you talking about? First of all, why the fuck does your voice sound like that? I don't know why your voice sounds like that, number one. But number two, just try it. Go around the fucking block. I don't know what the hell. Get a fucking bike. I don't know. You can also read, okay? But criminal, 
What if I don't know how to read and write? What if I don't know how to write then fight? Because you're asking too many questions and me and you are about to throw hands right now. So shut the fuck up. Do something. There's everything you could do. You could actually learn how to... There's so many things to do. And trust me, your anxiety will shrink as small as my penis. It will shrink to the size of two inches. Um, what is another... Oh, yeah, the meditation is... You already know about the... I'm just going to talk about meditation every time I'm here. Because I meditated today. I've been meditating and I'm going strong, baby. Like right now, just before I made this clip, I was feeling like crap. I'm like, I'll just... I'll just... uh make a vlog uh, tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I don't want to do anything. I have a song cover on my phone. I'm just going to upload that today and I ain't going to do a vlog. Then I said to myself, just fucking do it, moron. And then I did it. And uh, I'm happy that I'm here now explaining this to you. So all you got to do is get a hobby or find out what the hell is your passion. Learn how to play guitar. Learn how to play the fiddle. I don't know what the hell. Uh, what else? You can also uh, meditate, like I said. Go outside. Exercise obviously will get your mind off anything. If you're if you're getting to a point where you just can't handle it anymore, do something different that you've never done before in your life. Just be like, I'm just gonna start doing this for a half an hour. And then trust me, you'll feel so good. You'll feel like you'll be sweating all over your body. Your sweat will be, your ass will be completely drenched in sweat. You go take a nice shower, make sure you do some cold water, by the way. A little bit of cold don't make it sure it's warm to cold hot water is gonna ruin your skin okay but yeah make sure you do that there's just so many other things you can do anything anything out there to get your anxiety off just don't do the things that make you feel the worst if you're noticing that you're feeling extremely terrible it's because of what you're doing at the moment okay this definitely if I'm if listen if I'm using my phone I start noticing like why the fuck am I on my phone so long and then I just start feeling shittier and shittier because all it is is just you're just searching for something to do online blah 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 you're just like oh I hope I find something that's entertaining and then you don't find anything that's entertaining and then your brain starts going down the shitter hole okay you literally put your brain inside of a toilet bowl and then you flush it like that I don't know why your toilet bowl sounds like it's supposed to sound different. I don't know why your toilet bowl, when you flush it, it sounds like a fart. But that's, it is what it is. I don't understand that. I'm actually perplexed right now. Oh my God, criminal juice, you have a brain. You said the word perplexed. Oh my God, you're smart. Did you go to Harvard? Uh, no. Thank you for asking. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I suffer from anxiety, like I said. If you only knew how I felt. Like, when I go to work. My, I hate my job, by the way. My job is... I hate any job. Let's just be honest here. But this job is specifically annoying because everybody at this job is uh, a little bit too fucking serious and everything's just... And they're all... And they're all angry. They're all angry, grumpy, stupid assholes. I don't understand. In my head, I'm like, do you all have micro penises? And I'm like, it can't be that all of you have a micro penis like me. Because at least I have one and I'm okay with it. But everybody at my job is like just angry all the time don't get me wrong there are the funny ones but it's just funny you could meet five funny guys and there's just one guy that could just ruin your day because he's his energy so sucky but i hate going there the anxiety i have i can't even sleep the day before i'm like oh my god i'm gonna meet new people and that's that's all this anxiety and guess what you want to know the easiest way to get over doing something like that let's say you want to go somewhere or you're gonna meet someone and stuff the number one thing to do is just do it. Doesn't matter how fucking horrible you feel. Sometimes I feel like I'm actually going to die. Like I'm, I actually feel like I'm going to die. Does it sound cool the way I said die? Die. I sound like uh, Keanu Reeves or something. But anyways, uh, yeah, I literally sound like I'm, uh, I mean, I literally feel like I'm going to die. It's the worst feeling ever. And then do you know how dumb I feel? When I finally go to the job and then I do my work and stuff and, and just the, the first five minutes I'm there, literally I say in my head, this is what I was anxious about? What? what? This is what? Fear and, and anxiety to me is the fear. I swear to God, it's just a figment of your goddamn imagination. It's fake. It's bullshit. The number one thing you got to do is just tackle it, baby. And I know you're like, oh, that's... 
I know it's easier said than done. Believe me. I know those people out there that just look at you and, and they go, what the hell? Why are you anxious about that? Why does that bother you? And I just go, why are you so dumb and act like you're perfect and you never go through anything in your life? Just because you're good at hiding it doesn't mean... It. And that'll be for the next vlog, by the way. The next vlog will be talking about how everyone in the world... And I, and I mean everyone has mental illness. What are you... What? What are you talking about? What do you mean everyone in the world has mental illness? I'm going to grab my head like this and, and talk to you this way because my mind is blown. Listen, everyone in the world has mental illness. You want to know what the fuck I'm talking about? Watch my next vlog, bitch. I hope this vlog I just made um, helped you out in some way with your anxiety. If you have any questions, write me in the comments, even though I know a lot of people are going to write... To I don't know why I say that. It's going to be stupid troll questions probably. But yes, and also, if anybody watches this, make sure to subscribe. I would tell you to hit the like button, but that's just weird. You can hit the dislike button if you like. Hit whatever button you want. You could even hit the buttons. If I'm wearing a button down, you can hit them. You can punch them and stuff. But if you punch them too hard, good luck. Good luck to you. That's all I got to say. Good. I'm not even going to tell you why good luck. I'm not going to tell you why. But um, like I said, uh, yes. Thank you for watching my um, vlog. This is vlog number three. Uh, it was very fun talking to you. I try to keep it under 20 minutes. <laughs> it's, it goes to 15, 17 minutes. Every time in my head, I'm like, I could do 10 minute vlog. I'm like, well, there's a lot to say because they're random and uncut. I'm not going to make a video where it's like, and today we're going to talk to you about anxiety. And then the other clip is me over here like, Hey guys, cut to the next clip, and I'm here like, no, these are just straight up vlogs, uncut, and that's all there is, and um, the, for the people out there that are uncut, uh, thumbs up to you, because your penis gets an orgasm way more than a person that's cut, okay, I'm uncut, and guess what, my orgasm, I get like 30% more of an orgasm, and guess what? You can actually do a lot with the skin of your penis. Um, which I'm not going to reveal because that'll be another vlog. You see all these ideas that just keep coming up with? Vlog ideas. So we have a lot of vlog ideas coming up. We have uh, the mental illness one. We have uh, the penis skin. I have one about cum napkins coming up. I have one about pee bottles uh, coming up and yes the ideas just keep flowing like the same way when I take a piss in the bathroom and my and pee comes out of my my dick um, I'm gonna uh, can I pick my nose on stream or are you gonna stop you why are you not watching my stream anymore because I did this oh, why I don't understand that anyways and I need to stop calling this a fucking stream because it's not anyways please subscribe um, and uh, yeah I don't know I, I don't know what else to say but I am gonna do this and you're gonna hate it. I'm sorry. I'm taking advantage of how bad the recording is. I love that it clips and it sounds like garbage. And I do hope that, like, a person's watching my vlog and they're doing something and then they hear that and they're like, and they just, like, you know, get shocked about it. Thank you for watching my clip on anxiety. Uh, I hope it helped you out. And please try these things out that I asked you to try. Okay, I'm not telling you to try on a pair of pants that's extremely tight that makes you uncomfortable and a pair of high heels that make your feet hurt. Okay, I'm just telling you these things that have helped me in my life and I've uh, suffered from anxiety and all this other stuff that I'm going to be talking about in other vlogs. Thank you for watching and also don't think I don't know that there's people out there that are actually masturbating to me. Thank you as well for masturbating as well. I will release release a new uh, release. What the hell is release? I'll be re releasing release seeing a new vlog uh, tomorrow again, uh, and I'm just gonna do it instead of thinking about it. Oh, should I do it or what? 